it's Carol and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips about how much space you need to set aside around your desk in your home office so that you can move around easily. The more space and the more wiggle room that you have, the more you'll enjoy your home office area. So let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing two different scenarios of where you may be placing your desk and letting you know how much space you need to set aside so that everyone can move around easily. And keep in mind, things we take for granted, like having enough room to get in and out of a chair or being able to walk by a desk or in front of a desk, when you know how much space you need to be able to do that comfortably, it's really gonna make your office more enjoyable. So our first scenario is if you would be placing your desk against a wall or a window. And the space that's really important to think of would be all of the space where your chair is, you know, anything behind your desk and making sure that there's enough space for you to first get in and out of your chair easily and also for people to walk behind you. So I always recommend leaving 36 inches from the back of your desk out towards where your chair is gonna be. And if you can have more space, even better. That way, when you are getting in and out of your chair, it's easy to do that. And then if someone were to have to walk around you and say, get to another side of the room, they would be able to do that without having you scoot in your chair. So for example, on this image on the left side, it looks like this home office, this desk area is in a living room area. So if someone were to be sitting in that desk and doing some work, it'd be nice if there was enough space behind that chair that someone could walk behind that person and get over to the sofa and have a seat at the sofa. And then the same thing with the situation on the right, making sure that there's plenty of space for you to get in and out of that chair. But say if someone needed to run in the office there and grab something from the cabinet, that they could walk behind you easily and grab something without having you, you know, scoot your chair in and having to move out of the way. And then in this example, I placed the desk in front of a window, and this could be in front of a wall instead. And I made sure to leave, you know, 36 inches out. So from the back of the desk out, so there's plenty of room for the person to get in and out of the chair. And then if anybody else walks in the room, that they could walk through that door and then easily walk around the back of the chair and you know go over to a shelf or go over to a storage cabinet and easily move around in that room. And then I wanted to show you this image, this stock photo of this actually really wonderful apartment and you know space is tight in this apartment they're you know using this space for a lot of different things there's a little home office area there's a dining room area you can see in the mirror that there's a kitchen on the other end there may even be a sofa that we don't see so they've had to really use this space efficiently but one thing i noticed is they could use more space in between that desk and the dining room area. So if someone were sitting at the desk working and then someone came home and came through the front door, they would probably have to scoot in under the desk to make sure there was room to walk by. Or if someone were to sit at the dining room table, you couldn't do both very comfortably. You know, someone sitting at the office desk and then someone sitting at the dining room table, it would be kind of, you know, very cramped in there to have both things going on at the same time. And you know, who knows, maybe only one person lives in this space. And that, so that's not really a concern. And if they're entertaining, you know, they push in their office chair, how it is right now in that photo. And then they can have, you know, plenty of room for people to move around. But one thing I thought about is, you know, maybe they can move that dining room table to the right a little bit, or even taking that one dining room chair out and setting it someplace else in the room, just so there's plenty of room for people to walk around and move around easily in that space. 
And the second scenario where you may be placing your desk is maybe out from the wall. So where the wall is to your back and your desk is kind of placed inside the room a little bit. And you would want to be thinking about two different areas of space that you need to set aside to make sure there's plenty of room to move around. And the first one would be the same as if you had the desk against the wall, leaving enough space for you to get in and out of your chair. So that would be 36 inches from that back wall to the back of your desk. And then the other um, area that you would want to leave space for would be on either side of the desk and then even in front of your desk. So when you have your desk set up this way, I always recommend having at least 30 inches on at least one side of the desk to make sure that there's plenty of room for someone to walk around and easily get inside and sit down at their desk. And you may even want 30 inches in front of your desk in case someone needed to walk in front of your desk. So using both of those measurements, you know, 36 inches for your chair area, and then 30 inches on either side of the desk will help you have plenty of space for someone to easily move around. So in this example that I have here, I decided to move the desk out from the wall. It's next to the window. There's a little window at the top. And I left 36 inches. I actually even left more than 36 inches. So there's plenty of room for someone to get in and out of that chair really easily. And then 30 inches on the one side of the desk. And there's actually even more space and even more space so that you could even put a shelf in there or have space on the other side of the room, you know, to finish the room, you know, adding a plant and a storage cabinet. So anyone walking in that space would have plenty of room to walk in front of the desk, beside the desk, and of course, be able to get to the back and sit down and do some work. And it would be a great cozy place to have your office. So whether you place your desk against a wall or out away from the wall, be sure to leave 36 inches for your chair area and then 30 inches on either side and in front of the desk. This way you'll have plenty of room for everyone to move around easily and then you'll enjoy your workspace even more. Do you have any suggestions for future videos? Let me know in the comments. And please subscribe so you don't miss out on the most recent decorating tips.